In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys how you can overcome your beat block because I do believe that it's a real thing and it's a problem, but I also think it's easily reversible by doing the right things. All right, so beat block, it's like a mental roadblock, like a creative roadblock, and it's seen in all creative processes like writing and painting, but I do think beat block is slightly different. I think it's a little, little easier to get rid of, and I think it, you can be able to change your beat blocks into a great habit of just making beats all the time, being able to make beats every single day. I do think it's mostly happening inside of your brain, and your brain, it's a dangerous place because it believes in what you say to it. So if you say to it, I got beat block, I, got, I can make beats, and you say consistently say that to yourself over a day or more days, you're gonna make it a bad habit that you actually just have beat block all the time and you just can't make beats because you're telling your brain, I can't make beats, then you're not gonna be able to make beats. But you could also use this brain function as, as a good thing. You could, if your brain tells you, I can't make beats right now, then instead of listening to it, then try maybe sometimes just go ahead and make a beat even though you really don't want to and your brain tells you you don't want to then it can be a great way to just make it a habit of making beats that's one thing that's very important having the right mindset also before we move any further in the video i'm trying to hit 200 subscribers before the end of october so if you could please hit that subscribe button for me hit the like button as well all of that is completely free and you can always undo it in time if you want to so thank you for that the last thing before we move into this video is these are the things that I feel works for me. So it is possible that it doesn't work as good for you. So I wish I could uh, I could give you the tips that just works for everybody, but I unfortunately can't. Okay, so the main thing when it comes to getting rid of your beat block is that you want to get to making beats again. Even though every, everything in your body and your mind is telling you to stop making beats, then I think you gotta just gotta keep persisting in making beats. But that can be quite tough sometimes. So I'm gonna show you a few ways that you can easily do this at any time when you have beat block. And the first one is going to be just making beats with loops. It's probably the easiest way to make beats and overcome beat blocks. You're getting your creative juices going and then if you keep those creative juices flowing, then you're finally going to get out of your beat block and be able to make beats normally again. And these loops, they don't have to be your own. They don't have to be any anything special. There are so many places where you can get free loops nowadays. There's places like Cymatics and Looperman and Discord servers like, for example, Cody's Discord server. There's so many free loops. So you have zero excuses for not making beats. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so I found this loop right here in the Cody Discord. Now I'm gonna start adding drums to it. And this is also a way that you can more easily come out of your beat block. So if you choose to use sounds only from a single drum kit, then you not waste all your time looking around in the 20 different drum kits for the right 808 or the right clap or the right snare. Bum, 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 bum. finished arranging the beat and I really like this beat right here. Listen to this. Okay, moving on to the next thing. I got a basic piano sound pulled up right here and um, I'll show you an easy way you can start melodies without having to use your creative energy. Beat block is mostly difficult when you're starting beats. So like uh, once you got a basic foundation on your beats, then I feel it gets much easier. There's multiple ways you can do this. There's, you can draw in chords yourself if you are good enough at that. If you have such a bad beat block that you can't even get yourself to put chords in yourself, then you can use this tool that there is in FL Studio where I can actually just drag in chords. So what you do is you go into here, into a stamp. There's a bunch of different scales and chords you could place in. You just press this right here and it places a minor seven chord, which is 
it's quite it's quite crazy this. so you can literally just take a chord and then you can just put like random chords around here and fit it until it sounds good also i almost forgot to mention if you press alt or option and k you'll open up a pop-up window where i can basically snap to a scale so anything there is in the piano roll right now will snap to any of the scales that i choose i never really figured out how to do it properly but uh, it's just something for you to play around with all right if it's too boring with just these chords right here you can do option or alt a and then it becomes an arpeggiator so you can really just use the tools that already are in the um, fl studio to just start off a melody without having to do much work yourself maybe you have plugins like portal or other plugins that change the sound completely, shape of box or grow speed. You could also put those on the melodies to make it a use and just use the presets that already are in there and see if you can make it sound fire. Okay, let's move on to the last tip. So the last tip is to change things up a little bit. That could be everything from just changing your workflow, like maybe starting with the drums in the beginning, starting off with an 808 pattern, try and make it another, another genre and then make it like a lo-fi beat instead of trap beat or make it an EDM beat maybe. Try it out, see how it, how it is. It could even be something as extreme as, for example, try out FL Studio if you use Ableton or try out Ableton if you use FL Studio. That might even try and use your phone maybe. You could also change up your surroundings. Like if you have a laptop, you could try and make, take your laptop outside and make a beat. There's so many, so many different things you could do to just change things up like slightly or a lot to get new inspiration. Even just downloading a free drum kit of uh, r slash drum kits or something, Ta downloading some new sounds, downloading a new one shot kit. At least I feel like new sounds, they always make me more inspired. I, mean, I hope this video was useful. If it was, leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have other or better suggestions. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.